What's up guys? If you're a PC user interested in switching to a Mac but you're sort of uncertain of what change that might bring, well let me tell you, I was in your shoes and I'll share my experience with you so far. The truth is, I wasn't always an Apple fan. I didn't agree with the prices they charged for what you were getting. And I was also not bought into their entire ecosystem. But when I think back, a lot of it had to do with not wanting to learn a new OS. Every time someone I knew had a Mac and I had to interact with it or use it, I had no idea what I was doing. But my problem was I got a little too comfortable with Windows. So what got me to switch? Well, I was at a Best Buy one day and I decided to go check out the MacBook Pro Retinas. And what really sold me was that Retina display because that screen impressed the hell out of me. The second reason why I decided to switch was Apple's build qualities. We all know that Apple products have one of the best build qualities in the industry. And the third reason why I decided to switch, well, I shoot a lot of pictures and videos and the Macs just seem a lot more suitable for content creators. So how was the experience so far? Well, initially, it took me about two days to really learn and get comfortable with using the Mac. After that, it was pretty straightforward. One of the things that I realized was using the Mac was a lot like using your smartphone. Everything is right there. Everything is just a few clicks away. As you'd expect, there are a lot of similarities and differences between the Mac and the PCs. For example, right off the bat, the bottom dock on the Mac is very similar to like your taskbar on Windows. In Windows, you can take certain programs that you use very frequently and pin them down at the bottom taskbar. Well, in Mac, this is pretty much what it is. All your most frequently used apps are all laid out at the bottom there. And of course, you can customize it. When you think about clicking your start button on Windows, where does that get you? It gets you everywhere. You can get to your system preferences, system settings, all your documents, your files, programs, etc. In Mac, it's a little bit different. For example, if I click on the Apple logo at the top left corner, this accesses anything to do with my system. So if I needed to find out, let's say how much storage I have left, uh, I would click about this Mac and click storage. If I wanted to switch users, if I wanted to put the Mac to sleep, restart it, shut it down, it's all here in the Apple logo. For anything related to my documents, my files, etc., cetera, uh, I would go down to Finder here and that would basically open up all my files. Now the thing with all my files is at first, I got pretty frustrated with it. It didn't make sense to me that I would have a folder with all my files in here and I was not able to organize them with subfolders. But after a little bit of time, I realized what the benefit of this was. Because if I ever needed to locate a specific file, a specific picture, all I would have to do is go to all my files and I know I would find it in there. I never have to dig through folders after folders after folders. If there's a particular app that I want to launch, all I would have to do is just go to Launchpad and all my installed apps are in here as well. One of the things I'm still learning about my Mac are the gestures. You can actually customize all the gestures on your trackpad to do whatever you want it to do. For now, the only gesture I actually use is three fingers up. I can select between all the different applications that are open. One of the things that are great about the Macs, and I'm pretty sure 100% of other Mac users can agree on, it'll actually organize the pictures for me. I never really have to sit there to create subfolders and organize them myself. I mean, I can if I want to. And me, I am the type of person that wants to do that. If you're someone who wants a central place to throw all your pictures into and not have to worry about it, the Mac will actually organize everything for you. Another thing you can appreciate as a Mac user, you never really have to get bothered and nagged by the window updates that constantly require you to restart your computer. Because let's face it, those are pretty damn annoying. I think Macs are centered around all types of people, from content creators in all fields, all the way to grandparents who aren't even tech savvy. It might not be for everyone, for example gamers, but for those who just want things to work, it's worth a try. Like I said, the experience I find is very similar to using your smartphone. Everything is just a couple clicks away. Currently, I'm using the 2015 MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch. It hasn't given me any issues. It hasn't slowed down for me. Performance is pretty on point. Like I said, I do a lot of editing in Adobe Premiere. And for now, it'll do. Until I make the jump to 4K, I know I'll need something a little bit more powerful. I'm kind of glad that I didn't wait for the 2016 model. Losing the magnetic charging port, the SD slot, 
and having all the USBs replace the USB-Cs really turned me off because not only am I spending more money for the new MacBook Pro, but now I have to spend even more money for adapters and dongles. The touch bar just doesn't make up for those losses. So would I recommend the Switch? Absolutely, especially if you're someone who hasn't used the Mac before. Because in the tech world, that's what it's all about. Learning new things and expanding our horizon. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos coming your way. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.